My name is Jeremy Dell, I'm an artist, and this is a new display at the Imperial War Museum that I've been working on. It's a car that was destroyed in Baghdad in 2007 in a bomb attack. It wasn't the car with the bomb in, but it was a car that was destroyed by a huge bomb that killed a lot of people as well. For me, it's, it's probably about being able to get close to something from that conflict, which is unusual, and also it's really about how war has changed and how civilians now are the primary targets within most wars. Well, it just makes sense. It's not an art gallery, which is very good because it's not an artwork, so there's no misinterpretation there. And it absolutely makes sense for it to be around all these other, these other objects that, that have brought destruction or objects like them. And, of course, the car bomb now is a, is a weapon, so this is a... This, even though this wasn't the, the, the car that the bomb was in, it's, it's a signifier of how war is changing and how the nature of urban warfare is changing. So it's, it's absolutely refers to, to recent events, but also the changing nature of war in the last hundred years. This space is the entrance to the Imperial War Museum, London. It's the opening statement that the museum makes about itself. It's a vast arena full of the machinery of war. Uh, that has been preserved from the First World War onwards. And preserved, I think, is a key word here. It's very polished, it's very clean. Um, there's no sense of, in many of the objects of, of them ever being deployed in conflict, and therefore of their purpose or their power. And yet, in here, we've put as our opening object this destroyed, this vulnerable, this broken car, which has been on the receiving end of a, an improvised bombing, um, nothing that would have been delivered by these machines, but there's still there's a connection in the sense of the power of conflict, of power of explosives.